Hi guys, I'm Euro and I'm from the creative team at NVIDIA. My background is traditionally graphic design and photography, but I've been working in 3D for a year, and I think creators like me can learn it very quickly. Adobe apps are a great starting place, since they take advantage of real-time ray tracing and AI capabilities using NVIDIA RTX GPUs. Today, I'll create this abstract playground with my NVIDIA Studio laptop and give you some tips along the way. Adobe Dimension is not a modeling tool per se, but it's very simple and intuitive. And with the basic shapes, you can create many forms. So let's start with a basic cube. You can move it in your scene using the directional handles just like so. I'll use the cube to model a staircase. With the scaling handles, I can edit the sides and make a rectangle. And if I duplicate it until I have enough steps, I can select all the shapes, click on Align and Distribute, and move it on the Y and Z axis to shape the staircase. Now, let's take a cylinder. I want to slice it in half, so that later on we can texture two halves separately. To do this, we set the slice value to 180 degrees. Now I'll just duplicate and align the two slices. And for more custom 3D shapes, I'll use Illustrator and Photoshop. I designed a few elements in Illustrator. And all I need to do is copy a shape and paste into Photoshop. I'm going to right click on the layer to create a new 3D extrusion. This will create a three-dimensional object. So go back to the Layers panel and export as a Wavefront OBJ. Now, we're able to go back to Dimension and import and edit the new object. I continued building the scene with objects until I was happy with my composition, so it's time to bring this to life with colors and textures. First, I'll drag the glass texture onto the half cylinder. We can edit the materials properties on the panel to the right. And here I'm changing the color to a light orange. Now I'll apply a plastic material to the arch and change its roughness to zero. That gives it a really nice glossy reflective finish. And I can also change the default color. I want some of the shapes to have the same orange plastic material. So I'm using the sampler tool to copy and paste materials between objects. And texture options are not limited just to dimension. You can also use Substance by Adobe to find new textures or even create your own, an important two-dimension layer. Since I am using an RTX GPU with accelerated denoising, I can turn on preview mode and see faster changes in real time. It really helps to make decisions on the fly. Now it's time to adjust lighting, and Dimension's presets are quite handy. To improve the overall contrast and get a photorealistic look, I'm using the three-point light preset. It automatically creates a key light, a fill light, and a backlight, and I'm making changes to the light angles until I'm happy with how they look. I'm also choosing a soft late evening outdoor image for the environment light. This is looking quite interesting now, so I'm ready to render. My laptop's RTX GPU play a big part when rendering, as it greatly accelerates the process of ray tracing and delivers a high quality output much faster. So you could see how easy it was to get to this result, and it would be just as easy to iterate on this more. For more creative tips, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and share your creations with us at hashtag StudioShare. And thanks for watching, guys.